Ruau Mokos Walk, written by Rawiri Andrews and James Graham, illustrated by Dina Aroha Beach, narrated by Rawiri Andrews and Yvonne Aranui. Rangi nui the sky is peaceful. Papatua nuku the earth is peaceful. Even their child, Ruo Moko, is calm. Ruo Moko is sleeping sweetly. Eventually, Ruo Moko wakes up. He straightens his legs. He sits up. He yawns and stretches his whole body. He starts to walk, and the earth starts to shake. The forest shakes. The hills shake. The buildings shake. Everything around us shakes. Some of the children are confused and scared, but they are all very brave. Everyone remembers to be turtle safe. Ah, Mutsukoto Tamarikima. Well done, children. Ruo Moko is resting. He has just finished a long walk and is tired. When he stops, the earth stops shaking and everything is calm again. Just as well. That was a long earthquake, says Fire Mere. We need to go up the hill. Here is Fire Mere talking to the children about the earthquake. Sometimes when there is a very long earthquake, there could be a huge, dangerous wave from the sea called a tsunami. If a tsunami comes, it can wash away houses and cars and even people. So we need to keep ourselves safe by going to higher ground. Emergency Management Agency has cancelled the tsunami warning in place for New Zealand following the long or strong earthquake. Everyone listens to the radio, which says that there won't be a tsunami this time. All of the children can go home. The greatest tsunami activity has now passed. However, coasts may still experience unusual strong currents and sea level fluctuations lasting for several more hours. Rangi nui, the sky is peaceful. Papatua nuku, the earth is peaceful. The whole world is calm. Even their child, Ruan Mokoh, 